my name is Chantal, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Luki, I'm from Switzerland. This is our uh, self-made van. We call it the iceberg. Because it's so short, high and kind of pointy. <laughs> and there's so much more underneath the surface. So yeah, you're welcome, come in. Welcome in the van. This is uh, our front seat. We decided to have it a little bit included. We were doubting for it for a while because some people close it a little bit off for the heat. We decided to just have a curtain. It's uh, two sides, like a uh, blackout curtain and it's also quite isolating. Uh, so this is to the curtain. We chose to have one swivel seat, which we really love because it's really the best seat in the van. We always find who can sit there. And this is actually, yeah, during driving knots, but the king seat area of the cat. Our cat is actually now here because this is his second favorite spot. Now it's a little bit too cold outside, so he doesn't like to uh, lie on the dashboard too much. So he will curl up there. Uh, we wanted to make a really nice panel here. We had cool ideas, but later we thought, okay, the cat is always gonna like to sleep there. So we decided to have a stupid curtain. We hate it because it's messy. But uh, yeah, as you can see, he uh, is very happy here. We also chose to have the kitchen quite high actually, because uh, yeah, as you might know, Lucas is quite tall. I'm also Dutch and tall. Uh, so we chose to have a little bit of higher kitchen. We chose to have a fridge, which also has a freezer. It's very luxury because we always say, oh, do you want the ice cream on the road? And everybody's very happy to, if we share out our ice creams. And it actually works very well. Chose to have two pit burner. It works very well. And the fun thing was though, in the beginning, it was always burning here. We see if we have a white wall and it was always making like a burn mark there. So we traveled all around Spain to find something which could fit there. And in the end, we found this little thing and we're actually really happy with it. And it keeps the heat a little bit away. It's like a tile, like stone. It's like a stone tile, yeah, yeah. So it's actually, it works very well. I really wanted to have a mirror in. Um, and this is actually funny because I found a mirror. I was like, oh, let's put it in. But as you might see, all the walls are quite tilted. So this was the only straight wall we have. And yeah, you, we use it, but you can see like, you don't hang like this in the morning <laughs> to do your makeup. So it got a little bit more decorational actually. <laughs> and we use more the mirrors from our, uh, our flip up. <laughs> we chose to have a really big sink. One reason is to hide our dishes. Um, and we can store a lot of dirty dishes in there, as you might see now. But also because we decided not to have a shower in there, in the van, because we thought it would take a lot of space. We're still happy with it, but therefore we have a big shower. We can just wash ourselves. Big we sink. have like, sorry? Big sink. <laughs> yeah, big sink. Oh, big shower. Big shower. Oh, <laughs> oopsie, big sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we have a really big sink to do our hairs and everything, uh, to wash our hairs in there. And uh, yeah, we're really happy with it. That's also why you can like move this a bit around to really good wash yourself. Works really well. And then the rest of the kitchen area. This was one of Luki's wishes. He's the cook of our van for sure. Yeah, we decided to have a lot of spices. And first we wanted to have them in a drawer or something. But then we thought, ah, I still had this in my old apartment. It fits there. It's decoration, but it's also having a lot of spices. We have most food in here. This area is also still belonging with the kitchen. We have here our drawer with all our pans and pots. Uh, the classic Omnia oven, I think every van lifer has it. But <laughs> we really, really love it. We make everything in it, pizza and everything. And we have this pot system where we're very happy with, where you can just take the handle off, put it on. So it works very well. Our coffee machine. This is really our, our, how our van a little bit works because um, we really wanted to optimize every little space we have. So first we wanted to close it off, but then we thought, hmm, stuff fits here. So this is our toothbrush <laughs> and this is our sponge, but <laughs> it works very good. And uh, we always have it there. This is our other drawer with all the kitchen things. Funny thing is about spoons. I think that's a funny fact. <laughs> it's a very stupid fact, but um, we were searching for short spoons but not like plastic or camping stuff because we hate with, to eat with that and then we figured out that all the airlines have like really good cutlery so we have like from really i don't know we found it in second hand stores all the time we have from all these different canadian airlines or like i don't know different kind of airlines we have all our cutlery so every time we're looking from which airline it is <laughs> the 
base vehicle is uh, Opel Movano from 2013. We're not really car people, so we're happy to have a bit more modern car. And the most important thing, I'm uh, 194, and I really wanted to have a van where I could stand in, so we were looking for a high and long uh, vehicle where we could put everything in that we need, and that was it. it so has what, what is this, the van? It's like L2H4? It's L2H3, I think. It's not common to have this van so short and so hand high uh, in this combination. Mostly they're long and high or short and low. So we were quite long searching for that. Uh, it has 125 horsepower, which is perfect. But still, the maximum speed is kind of 100 kilometers an hour. Else, because of the height, it has so much wind resistance <laughs> we use way too much fuel but uh, yeah we live in it so, so we don't need to is, how much is consumption we have 10 liters uh, 100 kilometer uh, yeah. overall it's also nice it has ac in it when we drive for uh, ollie so if you have the windows down he really hates the noise of it or we're scared that he would jump out and so that's nice and the cruise control it's a really comfortable car to drive as well we're really really happy with it and yeah the height as you see uh, it's in total height is uh, 2 meters 75 so three times we had the problem that we couldn't pass through therefore we're really short we're 5 meters 50 short we fit mostly in all normal parking lots with a little bit uh, on both sides sticking out that makes uh, going for groceries easy but uh, I think what we don't have in length, we compensate in height, uh, so the room feeling is still quite big of this, of this van. Down here we, is our gas compartment. Uh, we build it in, uh, it's like a small bottle, I think that's the 5 kilogram bottles. And we first had a normal bottle and we went to Spain and we spent it way too long to find a place where we could refill it. The dimensions are different and it was a nightmare so we invested uh, some time and money and now have an autogas bottle which we can refill uh, whenever we want so it doesn't even need to be empty we can refill we never run out of, run out of gas anymore plus we were always really annoyed that we needed to take everything out to open the, bo the, the compartment to switch off and on the gas so we installed a little window where we can just reach in, put the gas on and off. And there we also see how much we still have left. So it's full at the moment. And we're really, really happy with that update. And this stays now storage. And we want a lot of space and time. Filling up is from outside from, from that side. Yeah, yeah, filling out is from the outside. And then up here we have our little kitchen electronics. So we have some light, we have the water pump. Um, so we have a water pump that works on pressure. If there's an under pressure, if you open the tap, it automatically uh, comes out. But if we have a leakage, it will also flood our whole van. So it was important for me to have a switch off which is also red, so it's really like bomb proofed, I hope. A uh, little 12 volt outlet, and then we have a uh, 100 liter freshwater tank in the back. And here we see how much it is filled. And we have a 40 liter gray water tank underneath the car, uh, where we also see the filling status. In addition, the details of the panels is really important that we had uh, a connecting piece in our van, and that that is oak wood so every piece of wood you see is oak wood and it was really hard to find everything but in my head it really needed to be oak so this is oak this is oak this is oak it's all made from old tables we got from uh, second hand second hand in the netherlands <laughs> that was another table that was a table we got from a really nice family and even the kids said uh, goodbye table and we were really feeling sad that we would cut the table the next day apart <laughs> Um, in addition here, if we don't have enough space to cook, we have a little bit more space and that was really stupid to do because normally that sticks out if we have this flap up things, but I really wanted to have it nice and tight, but if it goes up, it should connect 
smooth as well. So that took like really long to figure out <laughs> and therefore it's maybe not the most stable, but it looks pretty. <laughs> and you build it all then in the Netherlands? Yeah. yeah, we rented the workspace uh, for four months in the Netherlands in the winter. That was also quite cold and uh, yeah, we full time worked on it uh, for four months and then it was finished. Yeah. How much was it? All the money wise? In the end, it was total, total 27. 25,000. 20, 24,000. 20, and it was estimated on 27,000 worth, but okay, it's 24,000 24, 24, <laughs> we spent including all the tools we used, all the wood, all the, the rent renting, we spended. The rent of the place where to build it. Yeah. yeah. The van itself, how much was it? The van itself was, I think, uh, 10,000. 10, so the van itself was 10,000 and in the end with everything together, we spent 24,000 on it with all the details, renting of the place. Um, and then we needed to get it taxated for our insurance and then they taxated it on 27 or 28. So we were like, okay, <laughs> we did already a well job, but uh, yeah, everything together was 24. And you said yeah. you have a diesel heater. Yes. We do have a diesel heater. Mm -hmm. You can see it here. We were very lucky because um, it was already built it in. Uh, we just needed to reinstall it, but they already had like the line going to the diesel tank. Um, and the more and more we travel and the more and more we talk to people, we actually realize how really lucky we are. We have a diesel heater because we love it. We camped minus 15 in the Alps, um, most crazy places. Actually already in Spain in winter as well. You, you, we really like it in the evenings and, um, and it doesn't also consume so much. It so, helps yeah. also with the moisture management yeah. during winter. So if we True. cook on gas, um, we have a ventilator up there, but it still is everywhere moist and then we put it on and yeah, it's also going to make our van interior long lasting. Yeah. And what fan do you have? We have uh, the luxury variation. We have the Max Air Van, which has a thermostat in it. Um, so we can put it on a certain temperature we want to have it and then it automatically goes on and off. We chose this one uh, for our furry friend, our cat. Um, <laughs> so if you would leave the car and we would go out, we would be certain that the car would uh, not overheat. We have some more measurements though for overheating for him. Like this was really like when we started building it, we really had, uh, we had thousands of IDs and then we said to each other, okay, you can build everything in a van, but it's not going to work. So we both needed to make a top three of wishes, which we really wanted to have in. Um, one of mine was that the cat needed to come. So we made it a lot of adjustments for the cat. And one thing is, of course, temperature to leave it behind. Um, yeah, and now the temperature is really quite regulated. Of course, we always need to watch out. Like we can not leave him super long alone in the Croatian sun somewhere, but it works really, really well. And um, yeah, but therefore we have a nice climate always in here as well. So that's actually win-win. Uh, yeah, and uh, for, for you, but I will tell maybe a bit later about it, like for you it was mostly all the gear needed to fit in. Mm -hmm. And this guy has a lot of hobbies. <laughs> Here you'll find, uh, first of all, a masterpiece with the most view, but it's actually also uh, has another function. It's our toilet. It's a little compost toilet. So here you can find the sawdust, which we use in our compost toilet. We first had a urine reservoir of like five liters, if I say. This was very, very fast full. So we upgraded it later to a little bit a bigger one. And now I think we, uh, yeah, we get really well around with it. We're really happy with it. Here's our sawdust compartment, toilet roll compartment. And I think one of the best things is if you're totally out in the nowhere, it's a classical story, but we're totally out in the nowhere. Um, we have here a little beamer screen. Uh, we put like a, a television show on it. You can sit here on the toilet. You have your feet warmed by the diesel heater and you have the best view. So we say it's like the best toilet in the whole world. In addition, what? to not smell anything in the van, we oh, installed yeah. a computer Sorry. vent on the end of our toilet which has a pipe connected through here, through the wall, goes all the way to back to the top and there's an outlet. <laughs> so we don't have any smell around here and we're really, really it's, happy with it's it. It's perfect. As we said a few times, we travel with a cat, which is quite unusual, we figured out, but um, he's a very happy cat. But we did make also uh, some things in the van which are really specially for him. 
One of the things is this beautiful scratch pad. Um, we, we figured out that when he wants to go outside, he scratches on the door all the time. Uh, you might also see that here a little bit. <laughs> so he is sometimes confused that this is also scratch pad. Nice living with a cat. But um, yeah, we made him a little scratch pad so he can scratch his nails there. We made some more things, but uh, yeah, maybe you can tell a bit. <laughs> Um, we had, when we were living in an apartment with him, already a feeding machine because we were sometimes uh, during the day a bit gone uh, and he needed a regularity in his life because he had uh, a bl bladder stone disease. Uh, we had a feeding machine and then we thought, hey, how cool would that be if we bring that in a van? So um, the machine is behind here and whenever it's time for him... <laughs> He gets food <laughs> automatically. <laughs> On the other side, there is his cat toilet. And we can open it and access it from the top. And here's all his little toys up. and his like, <laughs> yeah, all cat toilets and some food reservoir. So uh, a dedicated cat drawer. <laughs> there we have our little compartment, which is basically just empty. It goes all the way to the back. So it is designed as a ski and surfboard compartment with uh, approximately two meter length. We had in the beginning our surfboard with us <laughs> for six months. I mean, not used it once, so I'm not allowed to bring it anymore. Therefore, we have <laughs> a lot of wine down there. We have food, we have our laundry, <laughs> which is also quite okay. Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> um, here we have a slide out table. You see again, it's nice oak wood uh, where we can eat and play our games. And it's on heavy duty sliders, right? It's on heavy duty sliders. I wouldn't trust to jump on it, not because of the sliders, but because of my skill sets when I build it. <laughs> uh, we have, um, yeah, you see these ones? So the problem is, even after two years, we sometimes forget to lock these things and then we drive. And this one, it's quite big and heavy, so it has all our uh, tech stuff in and randoms. Um, and if that flies out, it destroys everything in the drawer, like the, the, the sliders and everything. So we needed to replace almost every drawer already once. So it happens already. Yeah. yeah, all the time. <laughs> and then these ones uh, are also one result of it. And here is just a small one which is also a bit broken because it fell out. Uh, that's on this side. On this side is our electronic compartment. Uh, maybe before the electronic, here we have a little bit of food. We can lift this little compartment out and we get to our electronics, which is uh, quite uh, dirty, I see, and unorganized, but we have everything what we need. Here's our heated battery compartment for our lithium batteries, uh, solar chargers. Uh, we have an uh, inverter, so we can use uh, 230 volts there. We have a gas heater. And then up here is the control unit with all the fuses, uh, with the battery management and our little MIFI router, on and on and on. So I try to have everything separate so we can uh, have everything fused separately. Um, it works until now quite well, but I had a lot of help building it. We of course have the little macrame nets, which is very funny because I think whenever I talk about it, a lot of people have it, but it's one of the, it works really good for your fruits and your vegetables, but it's also one of the shittiest solutions because every time you drive, it goes like bam, bam, bam. So we make banana bread, I guess, once every two weeks because all the bananas are smashed from like mountain roads so they work but they have their disadvantages but most of them of course they look very cute uh, we still have two cupboards here toilet essentials and everything like medicines and everything uh, and one here is for like some sweaters and books we did make our closets here and i think it's quite a good solution so we made it with like bands so that everything falls out. 
and it fits a lot. Whenever I'm telling I'm on the road with like 50 shirts and 30 pairs of pants, I think I ha we have like both 10 pairs of shoes. We have a lot of clothes in here and it just fits a lot. Also, it goes all the way down. So uh, yeah, it stores a lot of, of our clothing. Um, one of the things I really wanted was this starlight. Um, it's a little bit a Rolls Royce feeling, but also I was thinking like, oh, can you imagine at night? It's so romantic. And it seriously is also because yeah, when you have all the bright lights on, it's a bit different and it's really like a nice atmosphere light. But I think I was a little bit of pain in the ass with my ID for him. It because was, it was a <laughs> big pain in the ass for to you. To build. <laughs> but yeah. totally worth it. Yeah, no, so we're, st we're really, really happy with it. But um, yeah, if you want it, make sure that you have like a few weeks to build it. Because, uh, <laughs> but it's really cool. You can dim them and uh, it gives a, a cozy atmosphere above the bed. Of course, there'll be question that did not have shower. How you deal is that? <laughs> We have an outside shower, which we can show later in the back, uh, with only cold water, which works perfectly during the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, in winter, we wash ourselves mostly in the big sink. That's also why we chose it. We chose this faucet so we can wash ourselves a bit better in there. We heat up some water and like uh, people 100 years ago did, we wash ourselves yeah. with our washing It's gloves. actually called uh, cat wash because cats lick themselves with their tongues, but you have these towels like babies have. And then we wash ourselves with that. Um, and we always say we really don't miss a shower because it takes up a lot of space, we think. And it also divides the van a little bit, which we didn't like so much. And therefore we are very short. Um, the only thing where we really miss it is um, we also love to go winter camping. So we got, love to go skiing, we love to go in the snow with it. And then you always come in with wet stuff. So your skis are wet, everything is wet. And then we get very jealous of people who have a shower because you have like a closet where mm -hmm. you can hang wet stuff. But this is literally the only reason. So maybe not worth it to have a shower. <laughs> no, not worth mm -hmm. it. We're thinking all the time about the bed. Uh, it needed, we needed to sleep this way because he, and ac actually also not me, we don't fit sideways. Uh, so we needed a bed which was like this, but it always takes up so much space. So we were thinking already about a bit of convertible bed. Um, but this is where we came up with this idea to like just kind of, it's just a normal mattress. We didn't make any cuts except this little corner there. But um, yeah, we love sitting here and it's like a very comfortable couch. At the other side, we have a little beamer, so we have our own cinema with our cool lights. And uh, yeah, I'm, we're really happy with this like couch mode setup. It, it was really important for us to, when we sleep, not have a cut up mattress where our knees and arms would disappear in. <laughs> uh, and also to have a comfortable mattress that is not just like five centimeters high and thick. Plus, it comes, we're quite lazy when it comes to sleeping. We don't want to make a bed. Uh, mm -hmm. We had uh, a thing that we wanted to be ready in under 10 seconds to go to sleep. And how we do that, we're going to show you now. The bed is um, supported with uh, aluminium uh, structure underneath uh, on wheels. And it will roll on these two pieces uh, to extend out. It's held in place with these things that the back doesn't flip down too much and to lift it up we have these two little cords there and then it slides out we let it down and then we are actually already ready to sleep uh, if we finish sleeping want to go back to couch mode it gets a bit more heavy but also that works reasonably okay And it's basically slides on some uh, rollers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you have four of them. Uh, we have, uh, I think, on each side four. Okay. One here. This one support when it goes back in. Okay. This one is to uh, have the sideways okay. direction for the bed. And then, of course, some holes in and some old wood storage. Look, <laughs> everything that doesn't have a place goes underneath the mattress. <laughs> On top of the roof, we have two solar panels with, I don't exactly remember, I think in total it's 300 watts of solar. And really important, we have some lights that were pre-installed, but we fixed them up again. So we have working lights on top, which 
in some cases uh, is even quite helpful. And then for the solar, um, if we want more, and for the land, how do you say that in English? Land hookup. We have one plug here, but then we have two cables for an additional um, solar panel. 300 watts of solar panel to hook up, which we can place. We can park the van in the shade and take the panels in the sun, but we haven't bought them. It's just like, Empty. yeah. And how much uh, battery you have? 160 amp hours. Lithium, lithium batteries, which is enough for us for three days probably, depending on winter, summer, when we use the heater or the ventilator a lot, it's less. And we charge the car with uh, from the alternator as well, which is probably at the moment the main source of energy we get. Here's our back. It's a proper messy garage, but it fits a lot of stuff, so we're very happy with it. Um, as you can see, we have all our shoes here. Really happy with that because like, it doesn't matter if it's dirty or whatever. And uh, yeah, they all can fit there. We have um, two folding bikes with us. Um, they're very Dutch, I think, <laughs> to have them with you. Um, uh, but yeah, they, they make sense in a way. We really like them in cities and everything. But we use them a little bit less than expected because in the mountains, in Spain, they are not coming in so handy. So we're thinking like if we do a little bit more winter camping to replace it a little bit. But yeah, we're happy that we have them with us. Um, this is our water tank hookup. Goes to our 100 liter water tank, which is there in the back. So uh, we have a big hose. We can connect it to any tap. Easy fill it up. Um, we have, uh, ah, you could put the lights on. Um, we have uh, here our like camping chairs. Yeah, everything you need, like a little backup gas hooker and everything. Um, first we had this all also loose, but then slowly we started building like all these uh, measurements. Um, here is more stuff. <laughs> uh, this box is full of cat food and camping gear. This box is full of our climbing equipment, uh, our toolbox, because yeah, on the road there's also always something breaking, so uh, toolbox comes in very handy. Um, and on this side, I think I'll leave that a little bit to you, because it's your department. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, I want to bring as much as possible to do. Shanti already showed the climbing. But this compartment fits a stand-up pedal board, uh, two kite surfboard, two kites, wetsuits, everything is packed to the top. <laughs> uh, and on the bottom, uh, fishing rod, uh, the levelers, backpacks, uh, some more wine, some backup fuel tank. Yeah, I think that's quite it. And, of course, our perfect little shower. <laughs> So what we do when we have a shower, we um, have like magnets on the doors and we have a shower curtain in between. Um, and then uh, we have a little plank to put here our feet on and we can just shower our way, which is really nice if you come indeed from a beach or from everything. Uh, now in winter we don't use it so much because freezing cold, uh, I know some people do it, but we don't. <laughs> on the back you also see a little bit the bed system from the back so we have two aluminium profiles on each side and then uh, it rolls on the side again on the same rubber rolls some holes for ventilation so our mattress doesn't mold and it's super easy we ordered them already pre-cut <laughs> uh, we just needed to put them together yeah and we had a bed Thank you for uh, watching. If you have any questions about the van or about how we do it on the road with the cat, uh, you can follow us on Instagram and uh, we'll re we are very happy to uh, answer your questions.